Trichoprin is a triacylglycerol or TAG that's composed of three fatty acid chains attached to a glycerol backbone. Trichoprin specifically refers to a triacylglycerol in which all three fatty acids are capric acid. In other words, trichoprin is a subclass of triacylglycerols with a specific fatty acid composition. Capric acid is a medium chain fatty acid found in coconut oil and palm kernel oil. And it's also synthesized in the human body as a byproduct of the breakdown of fat. Some recent 2023 studies in Japan prompted some mainstream media interest around trichoprin as a potential way to reverse coronary artery disease. And it was recently featured in a story by The Express. A very limited Japanese study typed a remarkable regression of diffused coronary atherosclerosis in patients with triglyceride deposit cardiomyovasculopathy was focused on individuals who suffer from a specific type of coronary artery disease called triglyceride deposit cardiomyovasculopathy or TGCV in which the coronary arteries are occluded by triglyceride deposits generated by the defective intracellular breakdown of triglycerides in vascular smooth muscle cells. This is very different from classic cholesterol induced atherosclerosis and requires a different approach to treatment, although individuals can suffer from both conditions simultaneously. To support trichoprin's circulatory health credentials, there are other published studies that show its beneficial effects, including a very recent January 2023 study that found trichoprin can prevent the development of abdominal aortic aneurysm, or AAA, by attenuating aortic de degeneration. Basically meaning trichoprin was found to help support the elasticity and strength of major artery walls. And just note, this study found that trichoprin did this in a very unique way in comparison to other triglycerides, such as trichoprilin, which like trichoprin is composed of three fatty acid chains connected to a glycerol backbone, except the fatty acid chains in trichoprilin consist of eight carbon atoms rather than the 10 carbon atoms possessed by the fatty acid chains in trichoprin. Trichoprin has only recently started to become the focus of more and more studies related to cardiovascular health. So we're in very early stages of discovering the true potential of this tri triacylglycerol. But the limited number of studies that I've seen do look promising, if not for now at least, just for a specific subset of individuals with very specific cardiovascular issues. Now on to supplementation. If you feel like you may benefit from increasing your trichoprin intake, what's the best way to achieve this? Well, despite the Express defining trichoprin as a commercially available supplement, and this may well be the case in Japan where the study took place, I couldn't find a single trichoprin specific supplement on the market in the UK. I also had similar issues finding one in the US market. In fact, there's very little information out there about trichoprin in general. It took quite a good amount of in-depth deep diving and research to even make this short video. Now, it could be that capric acid triglyceride is a preferred term for trichoprin, since this is effectively what trichoprin is, a triglyceride consisting of exclusively capric acid fatty acid chains. Capric acid triglyceride is a common cosmetic ingredient designed to be applied topically and is often derived from coconut oil. My interpretation is that given the recent beneficial evidence of trichoprin as a dietary supplement surfacing, we'll probably see products manufactured and labeled specifically as trichoprin start to appear on the marketplace very soon. But in the meantime, the most reliable way to increase your trichoprin intake is to consume either coconut oil or medium chain triglyceride oil or MCT oil. I did some digging around on the topic to try and find the actual percentage of trichoprin typically found in coconut oil and MCT oils and found that on average coconut oil contains around 5% trichoprin and MCT oil contains around 35% trichoprin. But do know it all depends on the original source of the oil and the production methods as to what percentage of trichoprin you end up with in the finished product. My source for these percentages was a study called Trichoprilin alone increases plasma ketone response more than coconut oil or other medium chain triglycerides, an acute crossover study in healthy adults, where they assessed the triglyceride content in these two types of oil. So there you have it. I hope this video gave you more insight into what trichoprin is, what it does and what it's good for, and also how to increase your levels of dietary trichoprin in an environment where it doesn't appear to be commercially available in its pure, verified and specifically quantified form. 
If you like the content, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can do that here or below the video. And don't forget to also hit the bell symbol so you're notified of any new health and wellness videos that we post. Thanks for watching.